Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 15th, 2023 from Proverbs chapter 14, Proverbs of Life, part four, verse two. Whoever walks in uprightness fears the Lord, but he who is devious in his ways despises him. Please note that uprightness is contrasted with deviousness. And these are by God's definition, not the world's definition. So from God's point of view, only the believers fear him and through faith are able to walk in uprightness. Again, the opposite is true when faith is rejected by God. People who reject God, they cannot do anything good because they don't do anything through faith. Verse three, by the mouth of a fool comes a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. The fool does suffer the consequences of his words or actions. Likewise, the words of the wise will benefit and preserve them when those words that are spoken are the words of God. And as Christians, we benefit when we encourage others and speak the words of God of love and forgiveness to other people. Verse four, where there are no oxen, the manger is clean but abundant crops come by the strength of the ox. Now, most of us want a clean house, but if the house is perfectly clean, you may wonder, does anyone really live there? This idea helps us understand this proverb that we need the ox. We need the manger to get dirty, which means that someone will need to clean it. But if it was perfectly clean all the time, then there would not be crops or food. Bottom line is, there is always something to do. It is the cost of doing business, or you could say the cost of living. Verse five, a faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out lies. Now this proverb may seem just obvious, but we need to ask ourselves, how easy is it for us to breathe? Well, breathing is a natural part of the body. That's why it's part of the automatic nervous system. And we usually aren't even concerned about how we're breathing, unless if there's some problems. So the false witness are not even concerned about the many lies they tell or maybe even conscience of how many lies they do tell. Verse six, a scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge is easy for a man of understanding. As we nod our head to this one, we need to remember that we were once that scoffer, seeking to be connected to God, and faith is a gift from God, so initially, we were that scoffer, seeking in vain until Christ Jesus comes to us and claims us as his own and gives us the gift of faith. Then, and only then, can we become people of understanding. Verse seven, leave the presence of a fool, for there you do not meet words of knowledge. So where do we go? for the words of knowledge. We gather around God's word and sacraments here at church. So when we look at this proverb, directing us away from the ideas of today's world, that is the fool, and directing us back to God's word and sacraments where they are administered here at church. As far as the fool, sure, we can love, forgive, and share Jesus Christ with them, but we don't look to the fool as the source of our authority. We know the source of our authority comes from God's holy word, and the fool has already, already rejected that word of God. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for listening, and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to 
Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.